hi guys welcome back to my channel don't forget to subscribe uh, today I want to talk about uh, earthworks reports uh, so simple volume calculation performed in Trimble Business Center so let's go right to it uh, I have prepared a file where I have three surfaces uh, one is to simulate the pile one is to simulate the OG original ground it's just a flat surface at uh, 100 and then there is a like a finish design or FG which is kind of cutting through the surface itself so there is a little bit of fill a little bit of cut so let's go uh, to our surface menu and on the right hand side there is a earthwork report once you click that you're gonna open a comment pane where you're gonna have three styles of report it's a stockpile of depression surface to surface or surface to elevation so let's try the stockpile and depression you pick up your pile surface in this uh, instance I called it pile uh, you can have a boundary so in case you have multiple piles in uh, in one surface you can delineate them with the boundary you have the materials uh, so in case you're running a report and you have some native or imported materials you can specify which is which and you can have a volume breakdown by uh, depth uh, by depth increments or elevation interval so let's say in the volume you can say okay I want uh, every two meters elevation so if you want to know how much of uh, the pile is in cut or fill based on certain elevation so we're not gonna play with these uh, if you need them you can definitely uh, play around with them we're just gonna do the simple stockpile so I have selected my pile surface I'll hit OK what this is gonna do is gonna open a, uh, your default browser uh, this way it's open on my second screen so let me bring it over here and it's gonna show you the uh, obviously the header if you filled up the information under your project settings uh, they would show here right the name the uh, company name and all that stuff now measure of stockpile the pile it's unclassified I haven't classified it anything um, uh, the next one is the approximate volume of 584.1 cubic meters uh, of approximate stockpile area so the footprint and that's uh, pretty much a maximum depth of stockpile is five meters yes because I believe I did the outside of the pile our at the 100 and I have the top of the pile is as you can see at 105 so that's the maximum depth so this would be a quick and easy uh, pile volume as you can see that's one let's go and run another artwork report uh, surface to surface we're gonna use these two surfaces I'm gonna go from my original ground which is this one uh, to this big one this is my original ground to my finished design so I wanted to demonstrate that we're gonna get a little bit of the current fill now the important thing is to to think that where they uh, it's gonna only uh, calculate the volume where they coincide right uh, because it has no other data to do otherwise however where they coincide so let's say here uh, at these boundaries it's gonna go straight up or down if you have let's say a ditch and you just shot the bottom of a ditch you and you need to do some um, side slopes you have to model those in your surface so let's go do this uh, I'll hit OK and again the earthwork report will open and it's gonna give us the same idea uh, our excavation our placed our difference area of excavated area of maximum depth maximum depth and the node here uh, so how the material is calculated last one but not least is the surface to elevation so let's say we're gonna choose the pile and we're gonna choose elevation of 102 remember our bottom of the pile is at 100 our top is at 105 we hit ok and we're gonna get another one 
and this will uh, show us the uh, how much is below above the area below the area now why would I want to do that is let's say I need to take away from this pile 200 cubes now this way I can shoot for certain elevation and know okay this if, if I flatten this pile at this elevation I'm gonna get about 200 cubes out so guys this was uh, quick and easy um, description of earthworks report hope you like it uh, and we'll see you next time